Hello YouTubes, today I'm practicing my husbandry behaviors with Harriet in the park. So let's jump right into it. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe and click that little notification bell so that you get all our videos. It's that easy and it's free, so why not just do it? As I mentioned in the intro, it's really important that you practice these behaviors everywhere. So here I'm doing the eye husbandry, so being able to open Harriet's eyes in the park and then her ear, so you lift from the base and then you try to tickle inside to prevent the reaction of shaking her head. And then I would pretend putting liquid in her ear. Obviously you have to do both sides because you know they have two ears and one might be infected and not the other one. Right before you finish the motion, you say good girl, good boy, and then you give them a treat because we are practicing this in the park, so it's harder. If your dog is like Albert and loves to eat grass, let them. If they're doing it, they need it. Now back to Harriet. Now I'm gonna train her mouth. So you pull the lips back, not up, and then you bring that jaw down. Here she just struggles a little bit. So I say, good girl, and I will give her a small treat, but I will repeat the motion. So again, I'm pulling those lips back, not up, then pull her mouth down, and the less she struggles, the bigger the reward. Here she gets a big reward. Now I move on to the top of her feet. So we do this frontward and I'm looking for ticks or anything that could get stuck in there like grasses, grass seeds, uh, any kind of object. Don't forget the back feet. And now I want to check if there's something under or in her toes. Here you need to uh, make sure that the dog places their weight on all three legs uh, other than the one you want to pick up. So here I have to ask her to shift her weight by trying to pull up her leg. And then when she does, that's made easy and I can explore the toes. So you open in between the toes and the pads as large as you possibly can to try to find whatever's in there. Glass, ticks, again, any kind of object, gum, uh, everything applies. And you have to do all four feet. So one after the other. And I will say good girl, good boy at the end of those four feet because she's highly trained. When you're training this, then you want to do foot by foot. So every time you do a foot, then you say, good girl, good boy, and give him a treat. So here you can see how I'm exploring every little part. And once their feet are up in the air like this, you can actually see where to cut the toenail. So this makes toenail trimming so much easier. I also practice desensitization of the bum area because you might be in the park and need to pull some poop out. So it's always practical to train this in every scenario possible. Finally, the tummy. So the tummy has to be mushy and you have to be able to touch inside your dog's abdomen. When the muscles are contracted, the veterinarian can't feel his way around your dog's tummy to see if there's a problem. The final behavior on the checklist is tummy. I want to be able to explore nipples, to look for ticks or fleas or any kind of cut or something. Sometimes they're black flies. You want to see your entire dog underbelly. So practicing this is essential, especially in the park. So here I'm simulating for flea or tick finding. Good girl. It's important to practice behaviors once the dog has learned them. If not, these behaviors will decrease in their frequency and eventually kind of disappear. So you do need to practice these everywhere possible so that when you need to use them, you have them available to you. This is me signing off and saying bye-bye doggos. Thank you.